everyone. Today I want to tell you about Curtsies and Conspiracies by Gail Carragher. This is the second book in her YA steampunk series, The Finishing School. The series is set on a floating airship in Victorian England. And on this airship, we're pretending to be a finishing school that teaches girls how to behave and put them into society. But secretly, it's an espionage school. In the first book, Etiquette and Espionage, we get to know everything about the characters, about the school and the general setting of the whole storyline. In the second novel, we find out more about the characters, we get to know the school better, we learn more about the world and the political things that are going on. And of course, there is another conspiracy or some mystery going on that our main character Sophronia discovers of course and wants to solve and save her friends. If you remember my review of the first book of this series you will remember that I had some issues with the book. I didn't really quite like the writing, I had some problems with the characters and also with the story. Luckily I can say that in Curtsies and Conspiracies all those flaws disappeared. Her writing style is much more comfortable now like her adult writing. I really enjoyed the flow of the story, I really enjoyed how she described the setting, the food, the dresses and all the action that was going on. I really enjoyed that. So it sounds like she found her voice there. Also, I like the story a lot better than in the first book. We find out more about the situations. It's not action packed, but it flows smoothly. We're getting step by step without really slow moments. We're moving forward and the story keeps you not on edge, but you can't really see through everything. And I really enjoyed that and I liked where it was going and it was a good mystery. And also the characters improved. I really like that we got to know them better and I think that's the advantage of this series that I hope we will get to learn more and more about the characters and without limiting them so much in the beginning, she has the opportunity to let them grow in different areas. And I think that might turn out really well. Also, Vive, which I really didn't like in the first book, turns out to be more like the character she was in the later books a little bit egoistic and devious. Overall, this is a really good second book in a series because it's better than the first one and it gives you more options and there is some outlook of more books coming. The only thing I'm a little bit wary about is that it looks like there's a love triangle developing and you know me, I'm not a fan of love triangles, so hopefully it's not going to be too annoying. Of course, I'm curious if any one of you has read the series and had the same problem with the first book and read the second book or didn't read the second book because of that. I can only recommend pick it up again. And if you like YA steampunk series or you're curious about them, I think this is a good one. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.